Oh god, get to the bunker bomb! The end times are upon us! The next Pokemon generation we're reviewing is Sinnoh! Now hold up, we're not even reviewing the generation, so cool your jets. These opinion videos are exclusively about how we feel about the new Pokemon from the generation and not the games themselves. But what if we find this set of Pokemon designs are just as poor as the games themselves? We haven't even fairly reviewed the games yet. It'll be fine. I'm sure it's not that bad. Besides, it'll all die down once we hit Gen 5. So you really want to hear my thoughts on the Sinnoh Pokemon? Well, I'm just warning you now, this is one of my least favorite generations. So buckle up, Buttercup, we're about to hit some turbulence! Hey, don't worry, I'm gonna do my best to keep him in check. Besides, we don't make an episode without fully consulting our positive and critical sides. I'll be keeping a tally of how many Pokemon I like, dislike, or feel indifferent to. And in the end, we'll get some solid numbers on how we feel about the generation. Keep a tally of how many Pokemon you like, dislike, or feel indifferent to, and share your results in the comments below. Here's how I feel out every Pokemon in Sinnoh! One of those animal slippers with a giant head. I don't hate it or anything, but it's just kind of there. Tortoise in dire need of a weed trimmer. Something about it just looks like a poorly made fake Pokemon design to me. I absolutely detest this fire farting butt monkey with an unironic flaming passion. The annoying kid down the street is now an annoying teenager. The Tiki aesthetic would have worked if he weren't so anthropomorphic. Adorable squeaky toy. Ew, what the crap happened to all the cute? I love penguins, but this is just not doing it for me. So irritating they admitted it in the Pokedex. One of those elitist, hateable teenagers from Reddit, except it's a bird. Fat emo pigeon. We all love to joke about it, but nobody honestly likes it. Managed to transform ugly into fugly. Volbeat, but with a musical twist. The incessant buzzing from crickets and cicadas are just as orchestral as a monkey with a drum set. Electrical blue Mickey Mouse. Slightly larger electrical blue Mickey Mouse. Alright, fess up guys. A child drew these evolutionary lines, right? No, we certainly did not need an unnecessary baby for Roselia to scatter over the entire map of Sinnoh, thank you very much. We also most certainly didn't need a weird evolution solution for Roselia either. What did the poor thing ever do to you? I love dinosaurs and Pachycephalosaurus is awesome, but this little guy's just too ugly to like. He's, um, meh. I've tried really hard to like him over the years. Hockey puck duct taped to a baby turd. What is it with Sinnoh and taking cool creature ideas and making them so horrendously repulsive? When you take a dump in the woods and everything nearby sticks to the dookie trying to cover up the stench. When you take a huge crap in the woods after a week of constipation. Yet another moth, but somehow even less interesting than the others. This set of three Pokemon evolves into a single Pokemon instead of the other way around. Oh lord, we're really shaking up the innovation here! Female exclusive evolution that proves bees have a reverse meaning of the phrase glass ceiling. Pokemon once again deliberately trying and failing at replicating Pikachu's fame. Detestable orange nuisance. Watch Robot Chicken's Weasel Stomping Day sketch to begin to understand how I feel. Possibly my least favorite Pokemon ever. It's everything bad about Weasel, but made worse, and with the most obnoxious cry in history. When your twin is more like a tumor than a sibling. The peekaboo Pokemon that's only interesting for a single moment before you realize how useless it is. Because having alternate forms of the same Pokemon is cool and totally wasn't already done in Gen 1. Why do half the Pokemon in Sinnoh look like inbred experiments gone wrong, all begging for you to put them out of their misery? Oh dear god, why? Seriously, just why? The purple balloon of child endangerment. Because killing kids is apparently cool in a kid's game. Hot air balloon with a dollop of sour cream. Reluctantly wins best in show like a cheater at the Special Olympics. Because we all admit Kanto's rabbits were the opposite of cute. I really wish this furry bait didn't happen and that Pokemon would stop encouraging the perverts on DeviantArt with even more anthropomorphic designs. But but I actually liked Mistrevious. Because Murkrow needed to become a member of the Third Reich. Spoink, except it's a cat. Garfield. Of all Pokemon, why did Chimecho get a baby form? Fits right in with all the other gross unlikable ideas from this gen. The anus Pokemon. Prove me wrong. This is what happens when you do your art homework an hour before class starts. Possessed Liberty Bell with arms. Looks like something out of Hoenn. Unnecessary Sudowoodo baby with an awkwardly large butthole underneath. Pedophile Junior. Here we see the juvenile Chansey eating its first period. Created exclusively for kids to record and scream obscenities at each other over Wi-Fi battles. He then got banned as if Game Freak totally didn't see that coming. Though I'm not a fan of the underground gameplay, I love the intuitive and unique Pokemon that you 
need to hunt down and investigate to capture, when 90% of your anatomy is just your mouth. Awkward and ugly, but with a touch of Rocket Shark. Bigger Gabite with a thumb for a face. Also stole Flygon's typing and I'm a little pissed about that. The only place where these obese warthog children aren't stupidly rare is Walmart. Cringy Disney Channel kids mascot. Another furry humanoid but with ridiculous unexplained steel typing. Man, I like hippos and all but this thing just looks too stupid for me to like. Hippopotamus drowning in quicksand. Deformed origami scorpion gone wrong. One of the ugliest abominations ever created. They must be letting their kids draw the new Pokemon for this generation, ignoring quality control entirely. Something about his smug attitude makes me want to watch him get run over by a semi. Awkward poison dart frog with bright red middle fingers. I love Venus flytraps, but I will break out the flamethrower for this hideous googly-eyed walking salad. I am proud to say that there is nothing repulsive about this Pokemon. It's not great or anything, but still, man, baby steps. Elegant, yet simple design, taking inspiration from several species. I wonder how long it's gonna take for Pokemon to realize the difference between fresh and saltwater fish. If Mantine was better off with a baby form, it should have happened in Johto when they were created. Glad they didn't know, considering this is kind of unsettling. Even Smokey the Bear would start forest fires to put these brain-dead saps out of their misery. If they were going for hideous, then they nailed it. Fun fact, it also has serious back boob, complete with nipples. What have you done to Sneasel? Some of my favorite Pokemon are single stages because they don't need to evolve. Were these pointless evolutions created just to spite longtime fans like me? How does this horrendous UFO justify ruining Magneton? Sure, Magneton seemed a little weird, but be careful what you wish for. Like many other Sinnoh evolutions, the old Pokemon were perfectly fine, if not better off without these existing. Poor Lickitung. Rhydon becomes a construction worker and completely forgets his established color palette. Hideous abomination aiming to revitalize Kanto fans but instead pushes them away with sheer revolting disgust. Electabuzz, but uglier. You don't appeal to fans by ruining what they loved. Awkward egg-shaped blackface Magmar turned Mega Man. Dear God, why? I'll admit Togetic needed a little something. But was a floating turkey plane really that thing? Kids today won't like Yanma since he's not edgy enough. Let's ruin, I mean, fix him up with an evolution too. Honestly, this evolution just feels too uninspired and inevitable at the same time. Know that I try very hard to like popular Pokemon like this, but some designs will always rub me the wrong way. Hey, give Gligar that edge factor like how we ruined, uh, I mean, gave Yanma. Hideously unsettling mammoth that was better off left frozen in a glacier. I hate how they ruined this amazing evolutionary line with a pointless, uninspired evolution that doesn't seem to understand the theme or social commentary of Porygon at all. After this awkwardly unrelated evolution, came to be, ignorant children forever believed Gardevoir was exclusively female, further fueling even more overly sexualized disturbing fan art. Are there people out there who honestly, unironically, like this thing? Doesn't seem to have any of the creepy charm the Dusclops line had. Not sure why a ghost boxer relates to a possessed skull and reanimated mummy, but okay. Combining folklore with uncomfortable anatomy with awkward design. Glalie is infinitely cooler. Ghosts possessing electronics are a cool trope until you realize it's just an excuse to make a microwave Pokemon. I'm running out of ways to describe something as ugly and unlikable. I'm gonna read a thesaurus from here on out. This trio is inspired by The Legend of Zelda, so you'd think I'd like them more. Shame they're so... uh, let's see... repugnant. Yes, that's it. Does it make me a bad person when I say that this Pokemon's face makes me want to slug it with a spiked baseball bat? I don't know, man. Just give a dinosaur spikes. Not good enough? How about we give it Steel-type for no reason, just like Lucario? When a Gundam makes love to a duck. I don't care if it's endangered. If you see something this deformed in the wild, you put that poor grotesque abomination out of its misery and burn any records of its existence. The fourth wheel who showed up late to the party but pretends like they're better than everyone else by claiming that they were actually there first. I hate his altered form, but origin form is okay. So let's give this poor generation the benefit of the discrepancy with a well-deserved meh. Banana-faced arts and crafts session gone wrong. I don't know what to say other than why does this exist? It's supposedly special because it's made up of 80% water, which isn't much higher than a human. It's also special because it doesn't realize it's not special. XX underscore insert edgy Pokemon for the posers here underscore XX. I hate the sky form, but I'm also put off by the land form. So let's give this poor generation the benefit of- wait a minute. No, screw this Pokemon. Is it wrong that I don't like God? Good thing we're not made in his image or anything, or we'd all look like inbred porcelain deer that got stuck in a fence. And with that out of the way, here's our final scores for Sinnoh. Whoa, that was rough. Yeah, I was honestly reaching with a bunch of those too. To be perfectly clear, I was just as critical towards the previous generations with determining how I would cast each vote. So what'd you come up with? 
only your scores matter in the end, so don't feel like you've got to change what you like just to fit in. Y'all know I'm getting hate right now for being honest with my scores. Because if you change your opinions just to go with the majority, then you're just playing with yourself. Do you have an idea for a new episode of Playing With Myself? Join the discussion on Discord using the new Patreon perks to nominate and vote for future episodes. Patreon members also get first picks, so check out the links in the description for more information. As always, thank you to our amazing Patreon members, Cameron, Arrow, Kai, Ben, Rowan, Erica, Sid, and Denny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And we will see you all in the next video. Booyah!